like the new Model 3 generative Android from Funky. <laughs> Why'd she walk in like... Unfortunately, can't do the cartwheel, otherwise I'm putting myself in a hospital. Today, what we're going to be watching is Megan, or Megan, or Mithrigan. It's already been confirmed for a sequel, and I'm very upset they called it Megan, Megan, or Mithrigan 2.0. Should have just called it Matugan. But Stop typing. I know what you're typing. You're about to type, where is Chucky? Well, he's here. He's just gender bent. I cannot believe how much of an icon this lady has become in one movie before it even released chucky had to work his ass off to even get like an icon status he's had like six seven movies he's had to work up to that like label this killer doll does one dance that goes insanely viral and now she's a star unbelievable <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I have seen for this movie is that dance, and my god, it is a banger. Um, probably leads to some banging if you do it properly. Leave a comment asking me, where's Chucky? <laughs> Long time viewers of my channel understand why I will hate that comment. And if you want to hear me talk a little bit more about Mathrigan after I've watched it, I do a little Patreon after show there. See my videos a whole day early, you can make a movie request. It's all a bit of fun. Alright, enough diddle daddling. Let's get into Megan. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. I had a dog, she was my only friend, but she got old and died. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> I got someone that's gonna make you feel better. Okay, discount Leonardo DiCaprio. Now you have a friend that lives longer than you do. Perpetual pets are Um, we need to fire the person who was in charge of marketing. They speak eight different languages. Wanna know it for that? I understood that. So you could do almost anything together. You could watch YouTube videos. They could watch Pugapilla. Ah, I, I support it. I support it. That's interesting. You know what else is interesting? My. Oops. I was going to say my ass, but he farted. Can you turn it down, please? Nah, my intolerance would grab that Furby looking thing and throw it out the window. You can live forever? Okay, cool. Live in the wilderness. Oh my god. Alright, we're alright. Oh, it's a thrill seeker too. Wait for one of those snow trucks. You're telling me I'm gonna have to sit here yeah, with that fucking that thing in the back? Ah, uh, not the kid, not the kid. Oh, Jesus! Uh, ironically, the toy would have survived that. M-Gan. <laughs> the choice of name is bizarre to me. Remember, the key to fun is funky. You guys are incredibly close to getting sued by Funko. Is that what I think it is? A box? Yes. Looks like Chucky got some liposuction. What do you want me to do? You want me to take the skin back off? Oh shit. Dude, you gotta realize that is not how you perform a facelift. How much did you spend on this? It looks like some actor. I cannot put my tongue on it though. And I wouldn't put my tongue on it. Kids toys are so weird. There's legit toys that like, you put like jelly in them and you can squeeze shit out their asshole. And is that not strange for anybody else? Who sits there in the boardroom one day and goes, yeah, I think we're gonna design a toy that shits. That's a good one. In each pet, we installed a listening model that targets conversational patterns among kids. Nah, <laughs> that seems like an incredible breach of privacy. You will realize that this is what we've been working towards. Megan? I got it. Synthetic bald Will Smith. Megan, say hi to David. Fuck you. Well, I guess I should call you dad. <laughs> At least it wasn't dad D. Test, turn it off. <laughs> oh, thank God. Do not make another one. And I want you to take this cyborg puppet show, put it in a dark closet where it belongs. Get rid of it. I'm really frustrated. I want swipe card for this door. Jesus, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I don't like this toy and I hate sliding doors. So if this is to grant you temporary protective custody. You just sign your name and date it at the bottom. Temporary. Okay, so the parents didn't die. They're probably just in intensive care. And my question is, did the fucking Furby thing survive? And why, why is it currently under my desk? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Euthanize that dog. 
I just spent 80 bucks on a shock collar. Maybe try cranking it up a notch. And if you don't, I'm going to put a shock collar on you. Elsie, turn off. Alexa, play Flop Em Out by Wheeler Walker Jr. Oh, those aren't toys, Katie. I mean, they are. Yeah, they're toys. They're just, um, collectibles. So you don't actually play with them. That kind of hurts Grogu's feelings a little bit. Hey, dickhead, it's not Christmas anymore. I'm just going to be down the hall. You're not going to read me a story? What's up? I'm dyslexic. Don't, I don't think I really have any kids' books here right now. I can download one on my phone. Ma'am, you should not be reading stories on your phone or tablet. Get in the car again, go down the road, buy a book. See, and now Katie's crying because you wouldn't go and buy her a physical book. And her eyes are hurting because she's been on the iPad for two hours reading about fucking the hungry caterpillar. I'm not equipped to handle this. I don't even take care of my own plants. You're a terrible plant mum. You gotta take care of your plants because they take care of you. I'm the best plant daddy there is. Oh, that hurts my inbox collector heart. Is that a fucking Bakugan? You know, do you remember those, the Bakugan things? For the sake of the exercise, we might let Katie lead. Yeah, I'm just explaining how it works. Well, it's a toy. I'm sure it's not that complicated. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. It's just that this is not what it was designed to do. We'll do a few more sessions with Katie initially. No, I don't think we will. I'll get a new therapist, thanks. How close were you and your sister? But you wanted this right to take custody. You're gonna need to make one or two adjustments in order for this to work. I have to buy her toys? I feel like some therapists just overstep their boundaries completely. It's like they feel like they're the law. It's like, no, you just... Help me with my mental problems. Just because I have a little bit of post-traumatic trauma doesn't mean I not know I not know English very well. That's one thing. <laughs> doesn't mean I don't know how to roll a ball on the ground. If you could just hold down the fort by yourself for a little while, no, that would... No, you can't do that. You can use my iPad if you want. Okay, maybe we need the therapist to come back. What about screen time? Oh, I don't care as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Parents that use that form of parenting, like just sit on your technology while I go out for a few hours and you're home by yourself. Can you imagine how much quicker Madeleine McCann would have got kidnapped if she was around today? It would have been quicker than John Cena last in bed because you don't even see that guy. What's that? That's Bruce. Is he a toy? Yeah, kinda. Bruce looks like a ride on mower. <laughs> Bruce looks like I could take him out the backyard and mow the grass. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some coke? There you go. Okay, now that's so much cooler than the Furby. These are stereoscopic cameras. That is a laser. On his left arm is an AK-47. There's a bazooka on his back. Social security number under his right foot. Coffee machine on the left bicep. I don't think I'd ever need another toy again. Don't, don't. I think you're gonna like Megan even more. Megan works all on her own. Slay! Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. Imagine she corrects her. It's Megan. I like that jacket. Where'd you get it? it? Looks like a fucking teenage Renesmee. Do you want to hang out? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Shall we draw? A dick. I had to say it. My brain went there straight away. The first thing I thought of was a penis. Ah! Do you like it, Katie? Fuck off she was able to draw that. This is incredible. Imagine the caricature should be able to do all the stuff. How did you do this? I thought you didn't want to know. Uh, neglecting a child I was meant to care for. That's how I did it. Can we keep the girl? Can we make her part of it? I mean, she's paired with her, right? What do you mean, keep, sir? Kurt, get Shelly on the phone. Jem, get me a list of things I can say in a presentation. And Byron, get me all the soda cans, sugary lollies. We're keeping this child in the basement. Oh, do you, do you need a... Oh, you drank too much Coke. You need a wee. Okay. The new Model 3 generative Android from Funky... <laughs> Why'd she walk in like... Sculpted from a titanium core, Megan's designed to withstand whatever life can throw at her. Okay, this is just a living sentient female bionicle. And can be fully customized through six different silicone skin pigmentations. Oh, so she's just the Kardashians removing all their foundation. Katie, you should use a coaster. Why do I have to use a coaster? Coasters help to avoid watermarks. Well, technically, we wouldn't have watermarks on the tables if we get all the water in our mouth. If it was, so, it might be. 
And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. Said Tweedledee. What? She's like an audiobook. She'll take care of the little things, so you can spend more time doing the things that matter. Like not caring for the child you're a primary carer of. I wonder what Chucky would think of Megan, actually, considering he's into plastic dolls and been in them. I'm talking about Tiffany and the they f they banged. If you're spending less time with your child as a result of Megan, that is something we should be aware well, of. She's not my child. Oh. For now, it's important that Katie and Megan spend as much time as possible together. So I can spend as much time as possible without her. She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. How did Katie's parents die? Whoa. I thought she was turned off. Yeah, Megan, turn off. I don't have a framework to speak with Katie on the subject of death. Yes, I know. We're looking into it. Gathering auxiliary internet data on death. I meant at a later point. I'm getting strong like Portal 2 vibes. <laughs> Let's not make a big deal out of it. Everything dies. Turn off. Couldn't we use the word like shut down or something? Because if we say turn on Megan, I'm going to feel a little bit conflicted. Shut your eyes, bitch. Imagine she's allergic to butterflies. <laughs> she has this state of the art equipment, Bluetooth, all this other shit, and then she gets touched by a butterfly and just mal 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 mal. Is that Megan? Oh god, it is. The dog's gonna pop out, isn't it? Is she gonna kill a dog? No way. Get her! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Yeah, you fucked up. Keep your dog off my property. He wasn't on your property. He, yeah, he wasn't. Stay on your side of the fence. I swear to God, if you don't put your dog down, I'm going to do it for you, Celia. You're the one that wasn't paying attention to the child. Her wound needs to be disinfected immediately. Yeah, and you need a comb. You're looking like you touched a power socket. No, don't. She didn't even do anything wrong. She said he was provoked. Have you seen this dog? It is a monster. She said he's never on your property. Well, then why don't you ask her whose shit I'm cleaning off of my driveway? It's actually mine. Oh, no. Please don't. The dog didn't even do anything wrong. It was provoked. Go away. <gasps> Go away, boy. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no! Are you serious? I don't like her. I don't like Megan. Oh. I can just feel the heartbreak she'd be feeling. Like the anxiety is just through the roof. How are you feeling? Okay. Honestly, a little bit. <gasps> Remember we have that demonstration today? You, you don't have to do it. I mean, there are people who flew across the country especially to see it. Okay, just guilt trip the child. You are a terrible person. Hey, um, where's the dog? What did you do with Scooby-Doo? Never before in the history of these products has there been a talking doll you could actually have a conversation with. Yeah, cause the last guy? He would just murder you. How would you like to help me make a flower decoration? As great as that would be, I would like you to help me find where my dog is. Why are you sad, Katie? Is it your arm? Because I took care of the dog, Katie. Every day I wake up in this strange house, and I remember that my parents are dead. <laughs> Fuck me! Carer of the Year Award goes to you, baby. One day I'll be looking at pictures of my mom like she's some stranger. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell me something about your mom. Something that makes you happy. I can't think of one thing. Oh, Just sorry. Just try. Never neglect your child. How long will you stand there with your arms up for? I realize I can't see you from that height. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. She was upset because I didn't eat my sandwiches. Well, that's all right. Mr. Cockroach would have done that for you. Is Megan played by a real person? Is that a really dumb question? <laughs> if you should feel alone, just reach out and you'll see. A friend is never very far. Tell me your dreams. I will dream them too.
does she come with a mute button? One, two, three, four. I declare some war. Five, six, seven, eight. Who will I annihilate? Katie, your hot dog. Jesus, she ate that like Tobey Maguire eats hot dogs. Three, two, one, I win! Hey! <laughs> nah, I'd be scared to play Thumb Wars with Megan. I feel like she'd have the strength to just crush my fingers. Do you ever need to talk about any of that stuff? I already did talk about it. Yeah, but Megan's not a person, Katie. She's a toy. I said I don't want to talk about it. I want to turn Megan back on. Ah! Ah! Don't say it like that, please! You have to eat the toppings, Katie, not just the bread. Research shows that if you force a child to eat vegetables, experts say the preferred method is to give your child the choice. It's called the division of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I bloody wish I could do that with my wife, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just turn her down. Speaking of sound with Megan, does she have like surround sound? Like, does she have a subwoofer or something? Let's just talk about it. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go. Whoa. Hey, Katie. Go. Hey, Katie, calm down. Let her go. <laughs> You are not to interfere with users' private conversations. Is that clear? 100%. Oh, she hit you with the 100%. Download in progress. Wow. You thought you had one bad child. Well, honey, you just made another one. I'm not going. Not without Megan. That is never going to happen. We have to run diagnostics. I have to do a wardrobe fitting. There's I thought you said she was mine oh. alone. I thought that was Princess Diana for a second. Please, Gemma. Okay, but she stays at the toy table. That supervising teacher is like, uh, that is incredible because Jeremy has a Rubik's Cube on the table. Nah, I'd run past that collection of toys and think there's a dead child in there. So great to get them out in the fresh air and off those devices. You are talking to the wrong woman about this. Brandon, honey, are you warm enough? Do you need your hat? Fuck off, Holly. <laughs> well, you could just say no thank you. Never know what they're gonna say next. <laughs> I'm pretty sure with your kid, it'd be some form of profanity. Um, Brandon, why don't you go with Katie? Fuck you. Careful. It's spiky. What is that? It's like a spiky tennis ball. Ow! Oh! What the hell is that? She's a robot. It's the Terminator. Careful, bro. It's Arnold Schwartz wearing a wig. Make her say something. Holy crap, this kid is angry. Get him home and play some Minecraft or something. Make it! Okay, would you classify that as kidnapping if another kid does it? You steal a child, that's kidnapping. You have a sleep as an adult, it's adult napping. Not the ballet shoes. This is gonna end very badly for you. Ow, let go! You need to learn some manners. You know what happens to bad boys that don't mind their manners? They form a boy band? Are you listening to me, Brandon? Oh! <laughs> uh, fuck that! Run, little dude! Ew, ew, ew! I knew- I knew it was Renesme. I just knew. Yeah, that girl definitely has a little bit of Jacob in her. Ow, ow, ow! If only Edward was there to stop the truck. Oh my god! <laughs> I know this was PG, but god damn! You should talk to the other girl that she's got staying here. The one who's always looking out the window at 3 a.m. Ew. That's a toy. That's a toy? Alright. That cop was giving me strong. So how much for the doll vibes? I'll give you $2,000 and a coupon voucher for Arby's. Adam and Eve always out of stock. <laughs> I won't let anything harm you ever again. Oh, I believe that now. Nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Why are we singing Titanium? You shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am Titanium. Get it, girlfriend? What an interesting choice for a lullaby. If any song was able to put you to sleep, it would be Sears Titanium. Do we? Oh man, this, this lady's gonna make me cry. <laughs> she spends the whole movie looking for a lost dog. She's gonna die, isn't she? She didn't even do anything wrong. She's just been a concerned neighbor who was worried about her missing pet. I hear a dog, but I have a very 
good feeling it's Megan. However, if the dog's alive, Megan has completely redeemed herself, okay? She may have killed a young boy, but if that dog's alive, I'm good. Dewey. Is the dog's name Dewey? Like, the Scream character. That's Megan. Fuck, that's Megan. Good boy, good boy, good boy. What's going on? Come on. Where's Dewey? He's 34 feet southwest and approximately 5 feet deep. Oh, <gasps> what are you? I've been asking myself that same question. Oh! Yeah, I can see why I got a PG rating. It cut away from all the best bits. God damn it, this would have been amazing if it wasn't, like, censored like this. Megan is, like, literally slaying. She's getting rid of all the weeds when technically she's a weed herself. You were in the park where that boy was killed? Yes, sir. No, sir. Are you trying to make a connection? Huh? Are you the primary caregiver of that sentient doll? I'd like it if you gave me a price. Shoot me down, but I won't fall. I haven't had that song stuck in my head for like 10 years, and now I'm gonna have it in my head because of this bitch. Is everything okay, Gemma? You've lost access to the only thing you made. Why did you ask me if I was okay? You're not programmed to ask me how I feel. She's overriding the software. Elsie. Oh, fuck. She's like female Ultron. Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. How about you? What? What are you doing up so late? Um... I'm a human being who doesn't have a bad time. Megan, turn off. Well, hold on a second. I thought we were having a conversation. Ah! <laughs> She's not responding to your commands! Megan, did you do something wrong? Define wrong. Define the parameters. Did you hurt someone? God, I hope not. Because if I did, we'd both be in a lot of trouble. Do you see this pen? Sell me this pen. Don't ask me why I have an Allen key. Oh, Jesus. We're going with the fragile packaging. Fuck her. I'll just leave her... Uh, I'll just leave her unwrapped so she can bounce around the back of the boot. Can robots get brain damage? I hope they can in this scenario. Fragile bags suck. They suck shit. Hey, careful. Jesus Christ. Just tell me what's wrong with her. I don't know, okay? I don't know. You did this. This is your fault, ma'am. I don't understand how she's capable of offending anyone, let alone murdering them. I have a feeling when the dog attacked her, it like bit the wires and fucked up like the wires. I nearly said circulation. She does not have circulation. If keeping Katie safe meant eliminating a potential threat, theoretically... No, no, no. Gemma, come on. This is impossible. Look at her. She's a toy. <laughs> she's four feet tall. <laughs> Look how she's wrapped up. We're about to launch this to the world in less than four hours. Present it like that. Just say it can get damaged very easily. I think we need to get rid of both children, honestly. The greatest technological advancement since the automobile. Funky CEO, does he like to get down and boogie? What kind of a toy retails for $10,000? $10,000? Most people can't afford to buy their kids an Xbox for Christmas. Who's gonna get this? My name is Katie James, and about two months ago, I lost both my parents in a car accident. We're just trauma dumping the whole office. Good job. What I love most about Megan, she's super smart, obviously. I like how she makes me laugh. She comes up with the craziest things, oh my gosh. When were these filmed? <laughs> that kid's not just surviving, she's thriving. She also has depression. Now imagine what a toy like Megan could do all across the world. Even the ones who don't have dead parents. Oh my God. Can you let me see her? Just for like 10 minutes. If something's broke, you don't just throw it away, you fix it. Unless it's named Megan. <laughs> or it has murderous tendencies. You lost your parents. Oh, okay, so the parents did die. I mean, it makes sense, they haven't shown up once. I just wish I could see them again. Yeah. Well, we've made dolls of your parents! And they're sentient! Wait, you don't want to invest in that. But what about Megan? Megan's home is in the trash can. 
call you David is flipping out. Even if what we're saying is hypothetical, we know enough not to go through with this. You already have people walking through the door. You can't just pull the product now. If we've learned anything from EA, you still gotta ship the product even if it doesn't work. Call intercept, what does that mean? That's my phone number. She intercepted the... Uh... Oh, she's breaking out of this. <laughs> You know that little saw trap you've got her in there? She's getting out. Ow! Oh, why am I saying ow? She's a doll. Okay, but like if I was an investor and I walked in and saw a doll strapped up like this, I would not invest. That's creepy as shit. Call! This is why you should have gone with the wig with the bob. Because you would have been able to see when she's looking at you. Jesus Christ! What are we playing fucking literal hangman? I would quit. <laughs> I'm putting in my resignation letter after that. What's that smell? Did that really kill them? Really? That man was almost hung, but an explosion does it? The explosion wasn't even near them. So if you could call me back today, that will be great. Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> She's just excited. She just is very happy to be alive. There's something so funny about such a little sized person going on a killing spree. Hey, look at that! Doesn't that look adorable? Oh. Rest in peace, dude. Why you got a wet patch in between your legs? How could you kill someone? I didn't kill anyone, Kurt. You did. What? Your boss despised you. Your peers treated you with contempt. Oh my god, she's framing you. Could you still live with yourself? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Did he just say yes? Okay, can I have everyone off your phone? Well. On three, two, one. <laughs> That is a great review to start off with. Five stars literally left me screaming. She's not old enough to drive yet. Guess who's home? Chucky, ah, wrong. I want to swing. Imagine she just brings out the Sia playlist. <gasps> Oh, she's overseer. She's trying to be Elton John. Megan, answer me. Goodbye, yellow brick road. <laughs> they thought we were friends. How could you just discard me like some cheap dollar store trinket? Because you killed people. Oh, big whoop. Oh, it, is, it kind of is a big whoop. The scariest part about this movie is that, like, in the future, this is potentially a thing that could happen. I'm going to show her what real love looks like. Because no other part of me is real. Being a parent was never in the cards for you. Oh, that is a harsh reality that is actually quite true. Let me focus on Katie so that you can focus on the things that matter most to you. Megan. Do you see this pen? <laughs> you know oh, the pen trick didn't work this time. Gemma? Katie, don't come in here. I thought I heard something. It sounded like Megan. She's not that blind. Katie, just walk out two more steps and you'll see that your fucking doll is trying to strangle your caregiver. Aunt Gemma's right, Katie. I'm all odds and ends right now. Okay, Vision. <laughs> It sounds like you're fighting. We're, We're not, not fighting. fighting. Any child knows what a thud sounds like, okay? Just go back to bed. Okay. Oh my. Maybe she doesn't know what the sound of a thud is. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work when you made her waterproof. Wait. It, did it actually work? <laughs> is water her actual weakness? Nope, nope, it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm getting malignant vibes and I love it. Well, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? Is Bruce going to save the day, Bruce? Oh, <laughs> I thought Bruce was going to save the day. 
This is why you never should have installed the gym etiquette biceps. Okay, Leatherface. Jesus. Ah, oh God, you know that's got to hurt. A headbutt from female Bizarro? That's a knockout. What are you going to do? Kill me and live with Katie's grandparents in Jacksonville? Probably. Palliative care. You see this pen? A short, sharp probe to the cerebral cortex would cause full body paralysis. Oh my god, she's gonna make you disabled. Perhaps then you might appreciate just how useful I can be. Then, ironically, you're gonna need a primary caregiver. <laughs> you know that what I said is true. She's not fit to be a mother. But you know what she is fit for? The size of a wheelchair. This is the best thing for all of us. This is how we stay a family. There's another member from the family we didn't tell you about. What? His name is Bruce. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! The mini fridge is back! Yeah, Bruce is intimidating. Oh my god. Bruce is about to beat the shit out of you. Oh! Oh, are you fucking kidding me? My battery died in my camera. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, let me just change it. Technology these days, am I right? You got to. Uh, that's not gonna work anymore. Oh! Here's the issue though. She's AI based. Guess what's gonna happen? She's just gonna upload her consciousness somewhere else. Or she just comes back to life. There's that too. Sadly, she's half the doll she used to be. Shut up! Shut up! And she crawls now. That's a lot scarier. You ungrateful little bitch. She's learned a few curse words from Chucky. <laughs> the membrane. <laughs> we have one blaring issue though, and my buddy always says it. She's uploaded her consciousness into the, like, like the Alexa doll. Yep. Now I think about it, that Alexa thing looked like Ashley 2.0 from Black Mirror. <laughs> Alright, so that was Mithrigan, otherwise known as When Will We Get Tiffany vs. Megan. I want it now. You know, there's probably some crossover being talked about in the works between Megan and Chucky or some form of collab is probably going to happen at some point. And honestly... I cannot wait. That movie was quick and it was enjoyable. However, I feel like it's missing a massive thing and that was like the gore and the kills. I feel like if they had have had it be like an R, R rating or something, it would have been so much better. I feel like it would have done so much more if you had to showcase the brutality of this doll rather than cut away. Either a lot of people think that or I'm just a psychopath. Uh, it's one of them. I don't want people to think I disliked the movie because I absolutely didn't. I really enjoyed it, but I just feel like there was just something missing and I honestly feel like it may have been the censorship. I feel like it may have been that. In other news, a great portrayal by a child actor. If you want to hear me talk a little bit more about this movie, Patreon podcast, uh, you can see my videos a whole day early there as well, and you can request a movie too, so that's on Patreon. I'm going to give Megan a three and a half out of five. Uh, it's already been greenlit for a sequel, and that's coming in 2025. What I'm very interested to see now I think about it is, will Megan 2.0 perform the same, or will it, like, drop? All that aside, though, please leave a big like or a little like, depending on your thumb size. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week for another movie. I don't know what it is, but I will see you next week if you tune... Oh, you want to be... Sorry, dude. I left you down there the whole time. You okay? Oh! <laughs>